Hey guys, we're back and we are ready to kick some ass in this random League of Legends match that I didn't even lose a tire on that no one else believes me on. Yeah, I made sure to record this one. So yeah, right now, um, the score is 2-2 on my behalf, but hey, um, pretty much I got two kills, but I died twice. That's because of Darius' passive, because it's OP. Anyways, uh, so we're just going to go ahead and try to kill a uh, goof off again real quick and then I said oh let's get Darius since you know he's not doing anything productive so pretty much Darius is very low HP at the lo least we are able to uh, get some experience block from him so basically we pretty much make sure that he couldn't get any farm or any of that no there's no gold no experience He's going to be under power later, which is a very, very crucial moment, especially for someone like Darius. Considering Darius usually relies on his feedingness or farm or whatever for decent gear to help him sustain. I believe I said that all correctly. If I didn't, leave the comment down below. So, we're going to at least give the half damage on tower before they come back, which is a really... It's a, it's a really good advantage. It's a real good advantage for that. And the goof off is just... God! How did I not kill him that time? I mean, really? Oh well. At least passive pretty much kicked in. Anyways, my passive particularly, it recovers like about one third HP if I get below a certain point. And I think I'm gonna get it right about. I don't know what I'm gonna get. But at least I have the passive to work and he just heal up real fast. And I'm just gonna turret dive for Darius. But Braid's passive kicks in, which I think does damage over time if it does enough spell damage or something like that, or something like that. I don't, I don't know. And it's like, oh. And I'm like, geez. But Olaf tries to gank, but he really fails because I place a ward right in that brush right there. And he's going to be dead to a turret dive. But, however, my passive kicked in. I wanted to get that fully recovered before I even attempt it. I thought about teleporting, but then again I realized I could gank from there to get Olaf if he tries to hit for it to go back himself, but he really did a Highlander move and decided, I am Olaf, hear me war. But it was more like, I am Goof Off, just slaughter me, why don't you? Yeah, anyways, I decided back because there's nothing much I can't do. I could teleport that same brush, but meh. We're already doing really well, and you know, I figured if I save teleport for later, I'll be able to use this for my advantage. That way, you know, I take a tower there and then go top and help them take a tower if necessary. A very kind of backdoor type of strategy. I just like my teleport. Anyways, um, one thing you probably know is already the bear claw thing for those who are new to League of Legends and all that stuff. That Bear Claw gives me attack speed boost for a very small attack speed boost for a very little amount of time. If I get three hits in a row, I get an ability that can let me do damage. Uh, although it's not really useful as like other abilities, but for a tank, that's kind of handy versus, you know, other stuff. Anyways, Warwick decides to teleport to our tur their turret, and obviously Goop off decided to go top lane because he he just couldn't stand the chance against this polar bear of thunder yeah he couldn't stand a thunder but regardless he just I mean, Darius and the uh, war waker are just gonna try to change their tactic maybe um, the one thing about Warwick is he has a really good attack life steal not as good as Scion though I mean Scion's life steal is God compared to Warwick but Warwick does have a suppress which pretty much he does suppress me but, um, yeah, he just lost Darius now, and he lost his, pretty much his grab, the guy that has grab, pretty much he can go a short distance, grab you, pull you in, kind of like what I do with Volibear, except for not as long range. If I knew he was going to do that much to Warwick, I would have probably just attacked him, but eh, not worth the turret dive, though, definitely not worth the turret dive, especially if I don't have my passive on. But, I get level 6, finally, the only reason why it took me a little longer because I died, and they actually respawn sooner, so then we're in, she gets some heal, but she knows my, uh, the pyro guy right there, he managed to get to level 7, which is really good, because he's the, really the only AP carry on the entire team, 
But then again, it's better to have one AP carry than having four AD melee or attack damage melees and misfortune being a hybrid, meaning like a uh, AP and AD kind of person. But I don't know if she build AP or not. So really, we have the advantage just because of AP alone, especially with the fire. Fire's always good with everything. Did I really say that out loud? Anyways. Um, coming up, it's going to be very, uh, just lane fighting, last hitting, minions, you know, getting the gold, you know, maybe scoring a few, blah, blah, blah. And I think they're really pushing top turret, and really all of us are pushing hardcore. Wow, I've really, really got to come up with new lines. These puns are just ridiculous. Anyways, um, top turret's really good. I mean, it's nice and pushed. Graves is just, I don't know what, I wish I got a camera view on that, what Graves is doing misfortune, but no, we had to see me walk with Polar Bear as if it was a pimp or something. Yeah, they need to make a new skin where Volley Bear like, has like purple, like a pimp Volley Bear, yeah, that's what they need to do. Instead of lightning, it'll be like money signs or something like that. But then again, that'll be kind of promoting bad stuff, so, I don't know. Just something for you guys to think about, right? So, you know, Pit Wally Bear might do the trick. Or Walmart Wally Bear, for that matter. That would be awesome. So, yeah, Darius died for like. How many times did Darius die? Oh my god. Uh, this is like the fourth time now? To the same tactic, nonetheless? I mean, I can understand if he dives to multiple different tactics, like, um. You know, if they gank you one time and they die, you, and then you try to fail turret dive, but that was almost like the third time we did the exact same tag where I pulled him in and then he used a spell right where they land. Although we did, although it's not the most effective thing I've done, but it's definitely a really recognizable one. I mean, it's obvious because that's what Volibear does. He pulls people in towards closer to y'all, the other guys, and they just kill them. And that's what Volibear is awesome for. Plus, he can get away. He can kill minions fast, and he has a, somewhat of a crowd control for minions too. So we go midline just in case it needs to be pushed, but Brian wanted to make sure, or not Brian, Pyro Dude wanted to make sure that our tower was safe because if we keep our tower against the goof, goof off and Dorks, Dorksrius, or not Dork, uh, Darius. And that war sick. Maybe that would do the trick. May I stop with the nicknames? Just stick with goop off. Anyways, yeah, I kind of failed at that moment. I shouldn't help my friend, but this Darius needs to die for his sins. And he did. <laughs> Warwick decides to like, oh, you killed my buddy. I'll get you. And I'm like, I'm a bear, motherfucker. Well, of course, I'm a teddy bear, and so I ran, and Pyro Dude just decided to burn Warwick. And I really failed at that moment as he goes back to his turret like a little baby. While I have to run like a teddy bear, so, yeah. That's, yeah, about that part where I said, uh, we're going to get that Warwick, my bad. Anyways, yeah, we're just gonna kill some minions, push the line, at least get some damage on the other tower, because we're already in the lead, and it's not even 20 minutes in, so that's a real good sign for our victory. But if I was that Olaf, uh, that goof off right now, that would just be, that'd be like raging like mad, like, we lost a turret down the bottom lane, and we just lost a turret at top lane. Oh well. Normally that would actually be us randoms. Just random people just doing derpy stuff. But not in this game. And no one believes me until now. Yes. Darius is level 6. I'm level 9? And the Pyro Dude is like level 9 also. No, Darius is level 8. And Warwick so he's like, oh, I'm gonna pop out of the bush. So, Pyro Dude and I are really doing really well. Although I think it's like an Ice Pyro. I don't know. Anyways, Pyro Dude is just spamming fire. I'm like, okay, Darius is gonna die again. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna have to cut it here, unfortunately, due to the fact of time. 
but I'll see you guys in part three.